Hello. In our first uh, video on this subject, we showed the ability to save integer to the permanent memory of ESP32, read and write it. Following the request of our subscribers, uh, we were asked to publish a video regarding the string uh, reading and writing to the permanent memory. When we are saying permanent memory, we are using we are meaning flash memory, and in the ESP IDF abbreviation, it's not virtual storage library. As always, we are starting from e expressive documentation regarding the non valid storage li library, which is pretty vast, pretty big. And specifically, I want to point out the difference in the following. Just one moment. Uh, yeah, it's, it's here. You see, in order to write different values, ESP IDF have different uh, functions. For example, for integer i i8 unsigned integer and so on. In the previous video, we talked about this function for integer for with a uh, so 32 bits value. Here, we are going to talk about string, so you can uh, read regarding the, this video in this documentation here and also set and uh, about reading and writing but you got the idea as always the code is inside the sims rt devices uh, in github where we go to repositories and it's saved inside um, nvs Just one moment, we will find it. Uh, yeah, it's this one. Uh, Free Artos ESP IDF NVS. Here we have we, we have two files. The first one is uh, regarding the integer values, and the new one is this one regarding the string, which deals with reading and writing string to flash memory. It's a very short uh, file because I removed all the comments in order to be it more, re more readable. If you want to, to see the, the same file with the comments, you should, you should go uh, to the integer here and it's explained more, more broadly. Anyway, uh, we will go to our, to our code. We copied it here and uh, I will run it in parallel. Okay, now while it's compiling, we can go over it. The normal includes, which will, which wasn't changed from the previous file. We initiating the init memory, wait for the initiation, just in sake of simplicity, define the handler which call it my handler and open the storage for reading and writing you see here is the, this is a read the section and this is the write section in the closure in the reading we read some string the previous strings that i have entered and uh, now we have we have writing the same string now for example we will change uh, the string to string new okay save it recompile and you see here first we require to read the size of the string which is by pointer defined here with the key data is the same key for reading the same data after we will allocate the appropriate memory for this string and then we will read it and print it out on the screen okay 
So you see here we read the same string as it was previous because our previous program write this uh, string and here we write data same string new which we have changed okay let's uh, run the program again and here we will we will uh, uh, expect to read the new the new string from the flash memory in reading and writing the sequence is the same except here we're talking about string size in required size and get in using get string and here we are using set string function okay here you see that we have read a new string which was saved and it survived the recompilation so it was saved in the flash memory thank you